Hello everybody, my name is Nasty Mold, and in this video we are going to get all of today's seasonal candles, do the quests, uh, get our information on today's shard event, and everything to do with our dailies. First up though, we're going to get our seasonal candles. There are four of these to find in the daylight prairie today. First one is up in the social space, and the rest can all be found below, so let's head down there, and we'll meet you at the bottom. With today's rotation, I like to start on the right hand side. We have one right in front of the exit to the bird's nest area of the Daylight Prairie. So this is our second of four total seasonal candle bundles to find. We then can go either underneath that rock there, there's one there, or there's one towards the uh, village exit here. So whichever direction you're going to head in for your quests, I'd recommend doing. But I usually do this way. And then from under the rock here. So that was our third. And then this one here will be our fourth and final one. And collecting all four of these will allow us to forge one seasonal candle a day. Excellent. That is all four. I should be able to forge one candle now. Let's see. There it is. Awesome. Now with this collected, let's get started on today's daily quests. Well, hello, it looks like we have a brand new quest, which is to play any tournament sport. This goes alongside with the Tournament of Triumph event that's on right now. So what we're going to do is go into the tournament area. You can go to this event room and sit down. Or if you're in the old home space, you can just sit down at the portal that's probably right behind you. And this will bring us to the Coliseum. If this is your first time entering, you should see some sort of a opening ceremony cutscene. I'm probably just going to skip this for now. And then once we're done with the intro, we can enter either of these portals here. We have the Rain Race, or we have the Void Gather for today. You can enter either one of these and complete them, and then that will complete our quest. So feel free to join a game, complete it, and quest is complete. You don't have to place first place or anything like that, just complete the game and the quest is complete. It seems pretty obvious, but to light 20 candles, we have to be the ones to physically light them. If they are already lit, it will not count towards quest completion. To admire the sapling, we just want to go immediately to the left of the social space in the Daylight Prairie, and we will find this little cherry blossom tree here. All we have to do is sit back and relax for 60 seconds and the quest will complete. To relive a spirit's memory, we first must relive any spirit at all in the Daylight Prairie. It doesn't have to specifically be this one. We then have to light them watch their cutscene, and collect their emote. Our daily rotating treasure candles can be found in the hidden forest today. Our first one is in the social space, and the next is in the next area, the forest brook at the very end. Don't get stuck on the mushrooms like I did. Let me out. In the next area, once again, the broken bridge, we can find our third under the first part of the broken bridge. And then our fourth and final one can be found in the sunny forest. I'm just going to fly there in case people are a bit confused. We just turn around and fly through these tree roots and this will bring us to the sunny forest. Then once we're in, we are just going to go to the very first gazebo and our last treasure cake is here. Today's shard event takes place in the Daylight Prairie, and it is a red shard. This one is a tough one. We can find it in the Sanctuary Islands. You first have to go to the Bird's Nest area, and then head through this cloud tunnel, and we are in the Sanctuary Islands. Because this is a red shard, we'll get a scented candle as a reward for completion, and we can visit one of the Shattering Memories. The shard times are listed on the screen. This is in PDT or PSD time, and if you'd like to change it into your own time zone, I do have a converter below. 
So this one's pretty difficult. There are many places that the shard can fall all the way on that far island and closer to the middle waterfall. And honestly, there might be even more areas that I'm not sure of. This is a recording I took very, very early on in the season of Shattering of it in the center area by the waterfall. I do believe that this was one of the harder shards that I had experienced at this time. There's just a ton of shard crabs and it's a bit annoying to navigate and it's quite a big shard event. But again, upon completion, we'll get some ascended candles, so it's pretty worth it. It just might be out of the way. You might have to search a little bit and uh, find where this event is falling exactly. But be sure to utilize the memory candles so you have a little person running around trying to save you and bring some way to charge yourself because, again, this one doesn't have very many charging places nearby, so you might need one. Yeah, good luck with today's shard event. And that is all of today's daily changes in the Daylight Prairie. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And I will of course see you in the next video. Bye bye.